Good day. I'm Colin Dangard, owner of the Australian Stock Saddle Company. I'm the man who brought this saddle to America in 1979. I've fitted over 80,000 of these to people and horses, and I can fit one to you too. Let's talk about the saddle. Knee pads or pulleys stops you falling out. If the horse suddenly props or turns or spins, it grabs you and throws you back in the seat. A stirrup suspension bar is under here in the dressage position. There it is back there. You can probably see it. In the dressage position, so you've got free leg movement. You, your knees don't get bound up and your back doesn't ache. You'll notice it has a very deep seat. This is a Southern Cross pulley. It's got a five inch dip in the cantle. And this is a web suspended seat under here. There's nothing hard here. The bones of your backside are in a hammock. They don't burn. Because it's got a stirrup suspension bar, you can get your leg forward and relax your knee. Your knees don't pain and your back doesn't pain. There's no jarring to your back with this suspension. And that's good for your back, but it's also good for the back of the horse because it doesn't also jar his back. Now, how do you fit in the saddle? This is important. Let's sit on this one here. This is a 16 inch saddle, which is my size. If I don't get any fatter, there you go. Now here, you should have a palm's width between your thigh and the knee pad, and then you're fitting correctly. That means you can post. There's your post. It's a little post. None of this, none of that nonsense. Don't do that. It's very quiet, very quiet. Good horsemanship is quiet horsemanship. No doubt you have a lot of questions. Well, I have a lot of answers after a lifetime of doing this. I built my first saddle when I was 14 years old. I'm now 67, so I have had some experience in this. We can fit you, and we can fit your horse. Not a problem. And more important, we'll fit your pocketbook too, mate. This is Colin Dangard with the Australian Stock Saddle Company. Visit us at aussiesaddle.com and get a hold of me personally. I'd love to talk to you.